Hey guys, it is uh, March 11th, 2018, and this is Kyle. Um, just uh, doing an update, kind of documenting uh, what's been going on with me. Um, and just talking about what's been going on in general. Um, I'm so worn out, it feels like my endocrine system has just been blown out like a million times. So I'm having a hard time you know, finding energy to do stuff. Um, and also, uh, my back is being mutilated. I'm able to keep uh, the high pitch uh, tinnitus-like sound out of my ears with Dave CD, using it every night when I sleep. I also got a huge zit on my face. Um, I hope you guys are doing well. I uh, hope you're making it through this. Um, just ignore the zit on my face. Um, I guess there were just a few things that I wanted to talk about. Um, I'm really going to have to start writing things down. Uh, also, uh, I do have like this little dark circle around the camera. My faceplate is broken on the phone, so, um, so I'm going to have to get that replaced too. Ugh. Ugh. Everything about this is just ugh. Um, but I hope you guys are making it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start with a prayer. It's Sunday morning. Uh, it's about... It's about 11.30 uh, Central where I am. I uh, really want to start this out with a prayer. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, in the name of Jesus Christ. Um, God, just help all target individuals today. Uh, help everyone who's being tortured or um, is in pain, um, who is experiencing the corruption, um, you know, not only of our country, uh, but of the world. You know, please give us the wisdom. Give us the right words. Um, help us to meet people who help us to get through it. Please give us resolutions on these awful, evil things, um, you know, that are done in secret. Um, that this deceitful, I guess, military-industrial complex, you know, whatever you want to call it, huge business of death is getting away with. Um, just help all TIs to give them strength if you can't take away their pain. Give them ways to defend, um, and just better ways, uh, give us all better ways uh, to, to gain awareness, to, to give everybody awareness, give us breakthroughs and miracles. Um, amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, in the name of Jesus Christ. Um, so, I did want to um, say something that's pretty urgent, guys, um, and I had been hearing about it. We knew that there was the dissolution of the net neutrality act um so you know we were talking about that i think everybody was talking about that about two months ago um and so everybody kind of knew that there was going to be a lot more censorship on social media um it's really happening big time like that's that's moving forward very fast um you know youtube is censoring you know like i was i was going i'm i, I was kind of researching the florida school shooting um, and the only things you can find on YouTube are, you know, the mainstream narrative on that. You can't see any other views on it, no other evidence of people asking questions about it, you know, and I'm not sure about my whole take on exactly what happened, but I think there should be free discourse, you know, on questioning things that happen in our society so that, because as target individuals, you know, we know that, uh, you know, we know that these agencies, the military industrial complex and many organizations that, um, you know, are in America and around the world are, you know, carrying out deceit and false flags. I, I don't know about that issue. I'm still kind of researching it and everything like that. But, um, you know, you know, anybody who said anything in question, uh, the official narrative of what would happen in the mainstream media was putting out. Um, all their videos, uh, you know, have been banned off of YouTube, basically. So all you get are people vilifying any kind of conspiracy theories, um, because anybody who asks questions is now a conspiracy theorist and a monster. Um, you know, so that that's uh, it's very serious. The the censorship is rolling on. So um, you know, we need to take steps, especially as targeted individuals. Um, we need to diversify you know, where we're putting our videos and our information out. We need to put them out on YouTube, Facebook, uh, Twitter. 
but also because all of these different social media platforms that are popular are very controlled. Um, they're going to go along with, with what the mainstream agenda is. We've also got to back up our videos. So I've got like 850 videos, maybe more, that I've done in five years. Um, and so I'm going to have to go and, you know, and... and uh, you know, and download the download those to a hard drive. Um, so I've got to get on that, but I'm also going to make sure that I put the videos like on Facebook, and I'm I think I'm going to open a Twitter account, which I should have I should have done uh, a long time ago. I just you know, I've been I've been so tired and just trying to survive. I mean, you guys understand. Um, what else? So that was that was one thing that I wanted to talk about. I did want to document uh, on my video channel and uh, just for myself. Um, the other night, I get a lot of directed dreaming still, even though I'm like, you know, with Dave CD, it's countering the high pitch sound, um, and then it counters some of the remote neural manipulation that they're doing, the signals to and from the brain. Uh, they still do give me a lot of directed dreaming, um, you know, at night. Uh, and then I'll, I'll wake up and just feel like, you know, feel like I have fibromyalgia times 200 going through my body, you know, because they're sending signals and just pain signals to my nerve, just burning my nervous system out. Um, but the other night, they, uh, my attackers uh, gave me a dream of, and I don't want to be very specific, but um, they worked, they worked real hard on this dream, and it wasn't just a directed dream where it was like taking my dream and then maybe adding to it you know with, with certain uh with certain signals to my visual cortex actually you know it was it was made the whole the whole entire thing was artificial and i know a lot of you guys have experienced this i've experienced a lot but it seems like they had been doing just the directed dreaming like messing with my dreams and you know kind of manipulating what i was already dreaming but this was like a whole thing where someone that I really love a lot, who's very important in my life, uh, was having a heart attack. And um, like my perception in the dream is that they were having a heart attack because they were being attacked by these weapons, by directed energy weapons. And, they, and, and then, um, you know, I like walked into another room and came back and they had this person that I love. Uh, and this is a dream, remember? Uh, this is an artificial dream. Um, they had this person that I love actually being driven insane uh, by the technology. And the worst thing of it was not just the imagery in it. And, he, and, and the person that I really love was like, uh, there were like bones all around him. And it was very satanic. It was very satanic. And I know it was for my attackers. It was not, it was just so vivid and artificial. It was a, you know, a totally, uh, you know, artificial dream. The worst thing about it was that uh, they, they were on V2K, on the voice to skull. They were uh, modulating it to where it sounded like that loved one's voice exactly as, uh, as they were saying stuff in the dream. So, you know, I woke up and I instantly remembered the whole thing because it was so vivid. And the only thing that could come to my mind at the time, because I just, you know, I wasn't going to even respond or think towards my attackers at all, was just that scene in X-Men where he's about to, you know, Wolverine's about to fight in this cage match, and the guy gets on the, the microphone and he says, anything goes, but just don't kick him in the balls, he'll take it personally. And that's what I felt like when they did that, because it was it was just so... You know, a lot of, I mean, everything that they're doing to us is way over the line. But for me, this, they knew, my attackers knew that this would be so over the line and over the top and satanic. And all it, all it does, you know, because I've been pretty lethargic lately. They've got my energy levels down and, you know, I don't respond to the V2K or anything. But this fired me up. Like, I, I think they wanted me to just, you know my heart to break and me to just you know feel even worse but what it did is it really showed me it really got a fire in my belly you know because we all need to be reminded of the evil that we're fighting sometimes but it fired me up and i said you know i was like we've got to stop this i mean this is so sick and the things that these people are allowed to do 
uh, are, are just are beyond satanic and sick. So I just wanted to record that on one of my videos, you know, so I can so I can record it for myself and and let y'all know about it. It gave me a lot of directed dreaming, but this was uh, over the top. Like it's like they worked on it and they they planned to do this kind of because it's it's pretty much one of the you know it's, it's somebody I really love that that I. I cannot stand seeing in pain. Um, so, uh, I'm trying to think of anything on a lighter note. <laughs> uh, sometimes it's hard, uh, you know, we go through targeting, it's hard to think of things just on a lighter note. Um, but, we, but we do have to kind of, um, you know, we gotta laugh sometimes. Um, and, and I didn't really say anything that you could laugh at, but, uh, what else? What else is going on? See, I've got to write stuff down. Um, I'm having a, a hard time cognitively. It feels like, um, you know, it feels like my thinking has been, uh, you know, artificially with the remote neural manipulation. It's been boxed in, so it's hard for me to, um, you know, really, you know, I used to on videos just riff and riff and riff, and I could just whatever about this topic. My brain was pretty free. I was getting tortured, but now it's like the remote neural manipulation has taken a big toll, and I think the you know uh, interference with certain regions of our brains. It's been getting harder and harder, um, you know, to do the things that I was once really good at, um, you know, expounding on a topic and exploring it. So I'm fighting that. I'm fighting all of this. You know, we should all fight these things that you know that are being done to us with this technology and adapt to it and use our neuroplasticity and believe that we can adapt past it. Um, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to definitely have to start writing some stuff down. I did want to let you all know, um, because I'm going to be working with this fellow. He used to do calls. Um, he used to do talk shoe calls before I came into the calls. Um, probably while I was, you know, going through my, you know, where I knew I was being targeted before I, before I got on the calls, but he used to do a lot of tech calls, so, um, his name's John, and I just wanted to, uh, to advertise his call, it's on, uh, Friday nights at, um, 10 p.m. Central, 11 p.m. Eastern, um, and he, you know, thinks, he thinks outside of the box on a lot of electric, uh, electronic defenses, um, and also getting meter reads and, um, you know, knowing a lot about these frequencies and what can block it and also passive offenses. I'm going to be working with him, um, you know, and, and probably show on some, some videos later. He has a lot of good ways to, uh, to meter read basically the voltage that is going through our bodies as we get hit by these directed energy weapons. So I'm going to be working with him uh, to get some proof on video uh, like that. But I also wanted to let you all know... If he does have a talk shoe uh, call on Friday nights at 11 p.m. Eastern, uh, the talk shoe number, the talk shoe code is 92703. Um, Friday night's usually pretty cool for me because uh, Linda Linda C has a call, um, and anybody who goes to the call knows her. Um, so she has her call at 8 p.m. Central, 9 p.m. Eastern, um, and that's at 149. Uh, one, one four zero zero nine one one four zero zero nine one um so so i usually go to her call for two hours and then you know i'll hop over there and see and i'm, I'm trying to get I, i'm usually staying on her calls because you know if we're talking about something interesting but for for those of y'all uh that's a that's a really good night to get on talk shoe you know you can go to linda's call for you know two hours or and if you don't like the tech stuff you don't have to go over to john's call but if you're really interested in the tech stuff you know, go over to John's call, because he's doing a lot of work. He also has a YouTube channel. Uh, I'm going to try and put that in the comments, because um, I can't remember the name of it right now, but I am I am subscribed to him, so if you can see who I'm subscribed to, he should be on there, and it should be like JWO something. Um, but he's doing some really good work. Um, he's he's getting hit really hard. You know, we're all, we're all getting hit really hard. We're all tired and frustrated and worn out. Um, but these people, you know, I, I just, you know, I talk to so many target individuals and they're all, you know, they're hurting, but they're thinking about how they can help others. Um, and just heroes, you know, heroes. Um, 
trying to think if there was anything else. I'm kind of getting to 15 minutes, but I guess I'll go to 30 minutes. Um, yeah, so let's just 